be 27 and a gunnery sergeant. It just doesn't occur. Sadly, he was uh, killed, and his father has uh, stepped forward and taking the suffering and the loss of his son and motivated himself to go out and help people to, to express his feelings of grief and how he's handled with it. Mr. Gilbert is, I feel, the perfect person to place the Purple Heart at the base of the wall to start the building of the wall and the rest of the festivities we're going to have this weekend. Well, if you would like to, Mr. Gilbert, we said we'd like to say First of all, thank you for all you veterans. The freedoms we have are because people that have served, just like my son. There's many, many soldiers, men and women that have given their lives for this country to have the freedoms. They give up their todays so we can have tomorrows. Um, Robert was pretty cool. He loved what he did, and he wanted me to live for the both of us, which that's going to be hard to do. He really did achieve a lot of stuff. The thing that keeps me motivated is the chaplain in Germany told me that I have two choices. I can live my life until I die, or I can die until I'm dead. And I know my Robert would have partied and would have lived his life, so I ride and I celebrate the 28 years I had with that young man. And he loved the Corps, he loved this country.